Hello and dwarves, welcome to Let's Fix Computers. We've got a MacBook Pro here that needs some help. This fella's just jumped the queue slightly. However, um, yeah, I know what's causing this and I don't want this lying around in my shop without having been looked at. So uh, what could cause a trackpad to bulge up like this? Here's a spoiler alert, the battery is swollen and a swollen battery is not something you want to leave lying around. So, we're going to very carefully take the bottom panel off and extract that battery. Then we've got to get a new battery and a new trackpad for this thing. So, this thing's probably going to be under a fair bit of tension. So, we're going to be very careful taking these screws out because some of them are probably going to want to ping everywhere and the battery itself may want to jump out at me once I've taken the bottom cover off. So, it's not going to explode. Theoretically, it could, but it's not going to but we just need to be careful is what I'm saying. I'm also keeping my finger under the screen because I don't want to press that swollen trackpad into the glass panel and break the screen, which would suck. Right, so this one's probably got tension behind it. Well, it's got a little bit, but not too much. I've seen swollen batteries like this strip these screws out. So yeah. Okay, right. Uh, by some miracle, the battery mounts haven't broken, which is probably the other thing that's keeping this thing in check. When I remove the battery, you'll see why. Alright, so this battery normally lays flat and as you can see immediately, it's jumping out of the laptop. And now on this side, where it's all soft, you can see where that end cell has completely failed and pressed into the trackpad. Right, so there's our failed battery. So that fella's knackered. That'll go into the recycling box and it'll go to my battery recycler man. Okay, now in the meantime, we're gonna remove this uh, knackered trackpad. So we're going to disconnect it, and I'm going to disconnect it from the trackpad, trackpad end just to piss off a lot of YouTubers <clears throat> who don't seem to understand how to do this without breaking it. That's it. Um, right. So now we don't have the, uh, the battery pressing into things. I can leave the lid shut, and we don't need to be quite so cautious anymore. There we go, one trackpad. Shame, really. Right. We'll go and order a new trackpad and a new battery for this thing now. I'll see you guys after the cut. Okay, so we've got our new trackpad. Uh, before we fit this, we're going to tidy up the trackpad bay. Um, so you'll notice we've got this sort of pale yellowish looking gunge around the edge. Uh, this is what makes the MacBook Pro trackpads behave erratically when they're not working properly. You get a jittery mouse that doesn't track properly and so on and so forth. So before I put the new one in, we're just going to go around that with some alcohol and my toothbrush to clear it up. So I'm going to squirt a little bit of alcohol onto my toothbrush and we're just going to scrub around the inside edge there and make sure that's nice and clean. We don't need to worry about leaving any residue around the edge. We're going to clean it all up when we're finished anyway. Loop. Right, so here's our new trackpad. So although these things are year specific, year and size specific, but the reality is it's basically the same model, but it just comes with a different cable. However, I'm part of the disconnect the cable master race, which gets me a lot of hate on YouTube, but I don't care. So we're going to drop that in. And so this one can come from any size. It can be from a 15 inch or a 13 inch from like 2010 to 2012 and still be compatible. So now that's in, we're going to drop the screws back into it. Right, and now we need to open the laptop up on the counter. And as you can see, at the moment, it's not gone in properly, it's sitting upright. So we're just going to back those screws out and make sure that the trackpad is properly settled. 
So loosen them off and just press the trackpad into place. That's not sitting right. Oh, I see what's going on here. The actual trackpad mounts are bent. Uh, oh wow, I've got to actually bend those back a little bit. I haven't seen that happen before. This, uh, this part here, this metal bit that sticks out, the bracket is on, is actually bent upwards where the battery pressed into the trackpad so hard. So I actually need to bend those down a little bit in order to get the new trackpad to sit flat. That's not something I've had to do before. So I can probably, let's lay it flat. Then I'm going to use, I'm going to use a big screwdriver. And I'm very carefully just going to press down. Wow, those didn't, I don't think those moved at all. Um, next option, pliers. That was more effective. Flyers work. There we go. That might have been a little bit aggressive. In fact, that was very aggressive. I think I may have been a bit too far from that. Oh, that's working. That's gonna be fine. Okay, let's put those screws back in. How's that looking? That is flat. It's a little bit off center to the right. So loosen up again. And I'm just gonna make sure that's visually centered. And I'm gonna hold it in place with the back of my hand and tighten. I was still a little bit crooked. I just, no. Third time's the charm. I think that will do it. And the click weight feels about right as well. If your click weight feels horrible, so if the mouse button is really stiff or too loose, then you need to turn that fella there. Just tighten that or loosen that until the click feels about right. Cool. Right, let's reconnect the ribbon cable. And now we just need a battery. Right, and now in goes our new battery. So just take off some cellophane, cellophane off. That just drops into there. And we need some screws for that. Bam, back cover's going back on. There we go, and that fella is all fixed up until it comes back in again for an SSD upgrade. Thank you very much for watching everyone, I'll see you all next time. Goodbye for now.